Spider-Man fans, thanks so much for clicking on the video. My name is Forky Films. Today is an insane day with the Spider-Man content. Because if you have been living under a rock, we just got the second trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. And I have uploaded a reaction that should be up now. So you guys can go check that out before you watch this trailer breakdown. So with this second trailer, we got many more reveals. So many more things that let us know how this movie will end up being. And just lets us know that this movie is going to be an absolute madness. I want to know how you guys felt about the trailer though. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Or somewhere in the middle. Now without wasting any of your time, let's get into the trailer. But before that, I want to get a recap of what happened in the last trailer. So in the last trailer, obviously the multiverse collapsed. We got many new looks, many new leaks. We got many of, uh, we got lots of that. We also got uh, Doctor Strange telling him that new villains are appearing. So that's why this trailer is just full of them. Now, let's get on to the trailer breakdown. So the trailer starts off with Peter, most likely after the battle that happens in the Statue of Liberty that is now being changed to a Captain America shield. Tom Holland himself did say this will be the darkest Spider-Man movie by far. So that does sound like it is going to be a very good story. After that, we get more scenes of Peter and MJ running away from the police, most likely. And then us getting the shot of them jumping off this building. And us seeing them going down the subway. And it is good to see how they actually escape. Because in my mind, I was telling myself, how would they escape? There's no way they can run. They would just keep following them so good to know how they actually escape now more into the trailer so as the trailer is going on we finally see Do uh, peter parker go to the sanctum centaurum which is dr strange is building and he goes inside the building and dr strange tells him that what you said has ruined everything when he was if you guys remember in the last uh, in the last uh, trailer peter was talking while he was doing the spell and that ruined practically everything now more into the trailer we see more shots of the multiverse collapsing and then us getting our very first look of william defoe's green goblin but not close enough but trust me we will get an up close look at him very very soon now going more into the trailer we finally get a shot of this beautiful black and gold suit which is now which we know now how it was actually made so, Peter Parker was stopping a thug, which is actually played by Tom Holland's real brother. And what happened after that is someone dumps green paint all over Spider-Man's black and uh, red suit. And he didn't want to go around uh, go, uh, wearing green paint. And the reason he got dumped in green paint is because people think he killed Mysterio. So, instead of cleaning or doing any of that, he just folded it in and out. So, even we got confirmation even in homecoming that the in and out uh, the inside of the suit is black and gold so it is good to see that they went for an effective but lazy way to approach the black and gold suit then we get more shots of this long meme that is the bridge scene. and oh my god we get to see the iron spider suit again oh thank god it wasn't used much in this trailer because if it was uh i would have been sad because we got some pretty cool suits that weren't the iron spider suit thank god now going more into the trailer we see that peter parker has now been trapped in electro's tentacle and we also see that his suit has been da damaged up but if you guys remember in infinity war when th this suit get damaged up since it's nanotech he can replace those parts with other parts of the suit. So it just grows back. And now we also see that in this moment, uh, Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus says that this you're not Peter Parker. And that obviously is a connection to Tobey Maguire's universe since he only knows Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. So I'm pretty sure we all know they're in the movie. But going forward in the trailer, we got more shot of this bridge scene. And it's very cool. And then we get a scene where Ned, MJ, and Peter are all mocking my boy, Dr. Octopus. But wait until later in the movie, <laughs> later in the movie, Peter, huh? You don't know, what if he kills MJ? <laughs> now, more going more into the trailer, they keep mocking him here. <laughs> 
uh, next in the trailer we see that the uh, what's called next we see is that the Statue of Liberty is turned into a Captain America shield and it is very cool to see that it has been turned into that but I would have liked if it was turned into an arc reactor but it was still good anyways then we get a shot of a beautiful swinging scene which I wish had a lot more and then we also get another close-up look to this beautiful black and gold suit and the new Doctor Strange powers that will be put on to Peter's web shooters and what's being told about these powers is that Peter has to shoot these webs at people to uh, at not people but at the sinister six to trap them to put them back in dr strange's cage and that's most likely gonna happen only in the beginning of the movie that's what i'm assuming like he just finds them and tells him to catch them all up and leave them in there and then later on in the movie he just sabotages them i know most people are gonna have a problem with this because it is spider-man using magic but it's most likely just in the beginning of the movie so moving on so moving on with the trailer, we see <laughs> Zendaya who plays MJ, uh, <laughs> uh, what's called, m does a little joke where she says, I know a magic word called please. <laughs> and uh, he says, uh, well, please, can you go Scooby-Doo this crap? And it is quite funny. I know it's not the funniest joke, but it's a bit of a humor to tell. Then we get another beautiful shot of the, the swinging scene, which I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of. In this movie because we're gonna see peter running away for a while in this movie then moving on in the trailer we see and again the same shot we saw in the last trailer which is electro and sandman but then after that we see my boy jk simmons j jonah jameson reprising his role back again from far from home into this one again thank god we see him we see him with the camera with the daily bugle happy to see you jk simmons hopefully we get to see you for a few scenes Next on to the trailer is we see how uh, Electro moves around and traverses around this city like he did in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's just him zapping around from pull, light pole to light pole, going everywhere. And then we get another beautiful shot of Peter running away, swing, I mean swinging away, which are, these shots are beautiful, may I say, because they were shot properly. <laughs> next, and then next in the trailer, we get more shots. Of the Iron Spider suit, which I may say in this shot does look pretty sick. It does look cool in this shot. Then we get another shot of Peter fighting Oct Octopus, but now on the top of the bridge, which is going to be cool to see because my most wanted fights are under bridges, but I don't know. Hopefully, this is a cool bridge fight. Most likely, it will be the entire movie. Then we get in a shot of Peter getting uh, wearing his integrated suit, I mean, and also seeing a goblin bomb get exploding for the first time and may i say he is not gonna deal with those goblin bombs very well if he couldn't deal with some drones properly i don't know how he's gonna deal with the goblin bombs the only way he can deal with them is you know toby and andrew but on to the next on to the trailer then we get more shots of dr strange and then we see this shot where peter's like oh okay and webs the box away from dr strange and then gets astro projected out of his suit. Now, this is what I said in my very, very old video, like three months ago, that in this scene, Peter would ash get astro projected out of his suit because he tried helping the Sinister Six escape. But obviously, since he's still a kid and he's still very clumsy, he lets them go. Now, next into the trailer, we see more shots of these trains and we see Aunt May running away which i think is maybe her running away from the sinister six maybe maybe that's how they can find peter the easiest way to find your enemies or to go to your their family and then we get another shot of peter getting tied up in uh, uh what's called dr octopus's tentacles and then we get a shot where i told you so he takes Tech, tech, uh, start technology, I mean, onto his tentacles. And I do have a problem with this, but if that's what they gotta do to bring my boy in this movie, let it be. But this, most likely how he got it is Peter just told him to take the suit and his tentacles are probably just eating it all up and then it just absorbs it. I I'm not fully sure how he puts the start tech on him, but we'll find out sooner or later. And then in this scene, now... If most of you don't remember the Andrew Garfield leak, these are the exact same behind the scenes. 
You can't switch them apart anyway. Don't even try it. They are the exact same. Whatever you say is a complete lie. Don't try ruining it at all because these are the exact same doings. This is the Andrew Garfield one. This is the Tom Holland one. What is the difference? Nothing. And then we get more shots of the most comic accurate Electro we've seen now with his yellow mask. And what we're getting told now is that he will get also start technology and will have an arc reactor. And what is also being told is his mask only goes on when he shoots his electricity. So that is cool to know that he won't have that goofy mask all time on. So next into the trailer, we get more shots of Otto Octavius falling out of building. Most likely him attacking Peter's building because they look very similar. And then on next on the trailer, we see Peter jumping off the Statue of Liberty, holding that box that he needs to uh, uh, help, uh, needs it to probably now put them back in their cages, but who knows. And then we get another shot of the city collapsing, and then we get our first shot of this beautiful Green Goblin suit. Oh my god, they pulled this one right out of Spider-Man 1. It is kind of sad to see that they're using a lot of CGI on it. Because if you do know Spider-Man 1, the Green Goblin suit was all practical effects, so sad to see that they're still using a lot of CGI. Then we get another shot of this beautiful integrated suit, which may I say is by far my favorite Tom Holland suit, apart from that black and gold suit. Next into the trailer, we see this new suit that I talked about in my old, uh, in my video two weeks ago, I'm pretty sure. Which is the new Green Goblin design, which I can't put on screen, actually, because I might get this video blocked. But if you guys do want to see it, just go to my old video. I'm surprised how that one didn't get blocked. And then, we finally get some more shots of Happy, which is said to die in this movie, so sad to see. Rip Happy, but next on to the trailer. We finally get our first look of a lizard from Andrew Garfield's universe. Sandman from Sam Raimi's universe. What is happening? How is this even possible? I'm just so hyped to see them again. This puts tears in my eye and oh, it's not tears of sadness, it's tears of joy. It's good to know these guys are back better than ever. Probably gonna die again, but who knows. And then we get a shot of Peter jumping into, uh, jumping into the fight into sandman and lizard and electro but if you guys look closely on lizard how did the man get punched if peter's all the way up there i'll tell you how they had edited out andrew garfield and toby mcguire i'm saying it now they are definitely edited out there's no way in hell he got hit by the air or anything else that is some clever editing and i'll tell them that then we get more shots of this beautiful integrated suit and then we see the Statue of Liberty collapsing, and then we get this Gwen moment of MJ falling down the building, and Peter hopefully catching her. And then the final shot of this trailer is Doctor Strange telling him that more people are coming, and I'm most likely assuming that is Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. But I want to know how you guys feel about this trailer. Did you like? Did you hate it? Somewhere around the middle. I don't know if you guys caught anything that I didn't catch. Anything and everything down in the comments below. As always, on 4K Films, take care.